I've been painting since I was a kid. Uh, uh, painting with aerosol paint since I was like 12. Um, honestly, probably Garfield got me into it. What about Garfield? Just wanted to imitate the art style? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. When you're like 10 or whatever, you want to just be able to make those lines. I remember drawing a Garfield and uh, my art teacher put it up on the like wall of fame or whatever. It was like her little gallery. Uh, it was pretty great. I made music for a really long time, so um, I kind of always was trying to do something other than the corporate world. Um, but during the time of doing that, I was still working a job. Like I worked at the same place for 12 years. What was the first thing you got paid to paint? Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I don't know if it was the first thing, but I remember, I remember my mom got me a job through some lady at her work and I painted, it was on like a little metal, uh, like those old milk jug looking things. And, uh, I painted that. It was like a, they wanted like a carousel horse on it or something. And I painted it. And I remember she took it to her office and the lady hated it. She didn't want it at all. And my mom said that she paid for it. I think my mom paid me for it. I went to the Greenwood Art Collective, uh, met up with a few people there that had a studio. They had somebody leaving, so I took their place. And uh, I always thought that I did a lot of artwork, but uh, a few people in that collective, uh, Dave Bloomfield and uh, uh, Brandon Baker, uh, those two artists kind of showed me that like I wasn't where I thought I was in my production like uh, the amount of art I was making and just seeing how much art that they made it made me like get on my grind and really focus and that's really when it when I went from making art you know oh I'm an artist I make art to like I could do this as a profession and then I just kept grinding at it kept going at it and uh, eventually left my job uh, it's been three years, a little bit over three years. It's been great. There's a bunch of different styles of artists. Some artists uh, are real emotive and their art really speaks to, you know, their personal experience or their, you know, whatever thing that they want. And uh, I think I'm more of a process artist. Like I love the process of making things. Like, it doesn't really matter if it's painting with a brush or using clay and making stuff or using wood and making stuff. I just love the process of making things. I think a lot of times people think that art has to have this deep meaning and I think that uh, sometimes I don't like that. I think we can have things in life that have no meaning and that's okay. So I do like character stacks. Uh, um, that kind of just came out of, uh, so I ca it came out of wanting to get more proficient at my lines and like get better at line work. And so I would just stack characters on characters on characters on characters to just fill the sheet because uh, I was just practicing. And then it kind of turned into its own thing. And I, I did a bunch of paintings and sold a ton of paintings and gallery shows. And, I'm really into line work. Like my my art that's uh, uh, not on the mural uh, style, it's it's deep rooted in line work. There's kind of two camps uh, of artists that kind of come up. You either start with line or you start with form. And uh, I definitely started with line thing. I try to uh, break that from time to time, you know? I definitely feel like I did with the, the mountain here. Uh, where I'm breaking from that line-based stuff uh, and more into form, but it's still pretty heavy line-based, you know? Big thank you to Sutter Metals for having me out and trusting me with getting this done for them.